Hello again. We've just done displacement control global scale and now we're moving on to brick mortar shape, which is quite quite in depth. Uh, but I'll be as quick and concise as possible as usual. So let's first put our bricks back to a reasonable width and a more reasonable global scale. That's nice, and I'm for the purpose of this. I just, yeah, I wouldn't, <laughs> I don't want that set up. That is not how I'd have the wall. So let's just get rid of all that. Um, oh, actually, I, I don't think I showed this. What if you have got the crack erosion because it's directly connected to the crack? <coughs> excuse me. If you hide the crack itself, you're also hiding the crack erosion color. We're going to get into the crack mask, but so now it's gone. That's just because I've hidden the crack and they're connected. But let's get rid of that anyway. All right. So brick mortar shape. Um, let's start with the the nodes, and for this, I am just going to give us a bit more room. So stop doing that, Nick. These these are the core. These two nodes are the core of the whole thing, um, and they're very important. These are the brick texture nodes. So if I click Control Shift, click this one. This is basically sending out. It doesn't look like that. Uh, no, actually, of course it does. That's what I've clicked on. This is what's being sent out of this brick displacement, and that controls all of the displacement. So everything is connected. This will end up going through probably all of this back around, and then it'll end up going in through here, through here, and then ultimately out. So these have a lot of control. And this one is just, it does the same thing, but it's for the color. So that's controlling the initial base color that everything else has been applied on top of. So the important thing about these two is if you change the only value that you, you should change and not bother putting on this one is the bias. Because the bias here, if I wanted more bricks to extrude, I would set the bias to one and then it's it's leaning closer to white. <coughs> Excuse me, just as in this one I wanted the, the colours to lean more towards brick colour too, I just set that to one. So you can change them individually because they don't really affect each other. They, it, there's, there's, it doesn't matter if they're different, but these values specifically need to be the same and I will show you who I. So let's say I want... Uh, Come on. I wish... Right, that's one note for Blender. Please, please make the windows easier to grab. Just increase the area. It's it. I spend time just trying to do that. Anyway, shut up, Nick. Um, so, yeah, what you can do with these is... Or what I would do. This squash, squash takes a line and, and literally does that. Squashes it. So, if I put 0.5, I've now squashed every other line of the bricks to give that effect, which I didn't, having never looked, spent much time looking at brick walls, I didn't know that really happened, but now I have, I see this everywhere. There are loads of brick walls with these, and I didn't realize it. I thought it was all, you know, just your standard, well, uh, that. I thought it was all that. I was wrong, but that's because I've had to look at a lot of brick walls. So the frequency, these two, I'm still fully working out. I know what I think I know what the second I know what the second one does, but it, it makes changes, and it's it's not affecting this frequency is for these lines, not these ones. So if that's on, I don't know. I think it only goes up to eight. Uh, you'll start to see less changes, but then this this frequency adds, I believe from what I can see from using it, it adds more lines of. No square bricks. So if I put three, we should have two lines. Uh, yeah, two lines of normal bricks, and then square bricks. Two lines of normal bricks, square bricks. So if we put four in, I think we're just adding more. So we've got three lines of those bricks and one line of these bricks. So, but now I'll show you what happens if you don't apply the same, exactly the same effects to the other. That. No one knows what that is. It's a complete mess. There's there's mortar thinking it should be in the middle of the bricks when it's not. The the colour the colour's trying to stick with the default 
and this the displacement is not. So whatever you do over on this one or on this one, you have to change the exact same values. So I've got to put a 0.5 in there and then a frequency of 4. So now it all matches up beautifully. So that's important. You have to do that apart from the bias. While we're on this, the mortar colour, a lot of faffing went in to get in the mortar, I'll be honest, to get the mortar how I wanted it, to get the mortar to react to the cracks in the brick. So it took a lot of trickery. But, and I don't mind admitting this, one thing that came out of it, I had no idea because the, the bricks weren't, I could still see straight mortar, even though the bricks were doing this, it's because I had something plugged into the mortar, which was making it weird. Um, but a fun effect of that is if I just, let's just bring out the, uh, let's, uh, two. The effect of it is once I took out what I put in here and it left with that, this ends up changing the surrounding areas of the bricks, which is great because I didn't plan for that. I, again, I don't mind admitting it. I did not plan for that, but it works really well. So you've got, you can add, you know, if you wanted to say your bricks were a bit mossy at certain points and you didn't want to do it with the um, with the old uh, mortar, you can just change change that so they've got a bit of a, a green outline. Most of the time I leave it set on black, especially if the bricks are red, uh, because it just gives it, yeah. So that's what I do. Don't, I would not change these at all because they're set up for the displacement and they're very specific so I wouldn't I wonder I, I might even put something in there to, to stop those values being edited hmm or just rely on people not doing it just don't do it mess with that one don't mess with them uh, and the defaults here are written on the side so if you change it and you forget what you've done they're all there okay uneven bridge X's uneven brick edges mix so as I was building this, I didn't feel like I had enough control of the edges of the bricks. Um, I wanted I wanted more. I want more. So I put in the uneven brick edges shape. And this thing, this functionality is the reason I've had to remove the brick height. <clears throat> so if I crank that up, I might, for the purposes of displaying properly it, let's just put this up to four so we can remove some of these jagged edges. So this adds these these waves. I've got a brick edge at the minute, I mean a brick mask, so let me just display all of it. Bear with me. Well, we had for a top date. So now you can see that this is, it's stretching, What? yeah, let's make it stretch even further. So let's put the distortion up to four. And now you can see what's going on. So this will take chunks out of the brick, so it will just change the edges. You can have it very subtle. Um, if we put the distortion a detail scale to one, that will probably flatten it out a fair bit. Uh, and so you can get this kind of cracked edge effect. Uh, and, and depending on how you set it up, will depend on how far into the bricks it creeps. So at the moment, I think we could probably do that, bring that back a bit. And it's just because the distortion is huge. And I don't, because this is now, it's kind of like bitty waves. So if I don't want it to creep too far, I'd have to change the distortion. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. So now it's it's very subtle. Let's try the detail scale, see if that helps. Yeah, it's it's very subtle. But it's just that little bit of extra control that wasn't there with the the default brick textures. Um, I wanted, <laughs> I wanted more. So, but again, the more you use this, the more subdivisions you're going to need. This is at the moment displayed at four. I'm going to change to five, and we may have to wait a second for it to update, or it will crash. It didn't crash, hurrah. All right, but it clearly, even six, I would need six subdivisions <coughs> to get rid of them, excuse me. Or, well, I, I might not, it depends how far away from the wall you don't. You know, if you're this far away, you have no idea. It's fine, you could get away with probably three, if 
from this distance. Yeah. So yeah, and you can change. Here's the the actual thing, the the shape. And if you drag this out, and then drag the black in, you're again allowing more black. It's going to thicken up the area. So in a sense, it's it's you're controlling the the mortar horizontal height or width. So if we knit back, as you can see, we've got much bigger gaps in the mortar now, and that's not because we've changed the mortar shape or the mortar size, that's still at 0.25, but it's just because we've told this to, to really, you know, the black is over, so there's much, they're thicker lines. And if you wanted that thicker lines, thicky lines, thicker lines, but you didn't want it across every single brick like it is, that's why I put the brick mask in. So if you experiment with this, you can start to tell it areas you don't want it to affect, so now it looks much more natural because it's not affecting this brick really. You know, there are some edges because before all of this was just going all the way across every single brick, but with the brick mask, you're telling it not to do every single area. And these just affect, so the brick mask looks like this. So anything I believe that's black is going to show it, and anything that's white, which is actually the opposite than usual, normally white hides it, but. Don't worry about it. I've wrote it. I wrote it. I've written it there as well. So uh, oh, the white does hide it, and the black does show it. Shit, Nick, wake up. So let me get go back. Write keys. So if we change the scale of that, so that filter you've just seen would become way more sporadic, as does the areas the bricks are being mangled by the unedges, un uneven edges mask. If I put one in, we've got, you can, I mean, you can clearly see the pattern of where the bricks are being told to go away and where the bricks are being told, say hello. So right in this area, it's happening right there, but nada, we got nada there. So that's really useful to add um, that more natural effect. That's it, how long did that take? 12 minutes, about a minute and a half before I thought, longer than I thought. Okay, awesome. So that's the dis uh, the brick and mortar shape. We will do the displacement effects control at the next juncture in our adventure of working out the infinite brick wall builder. Lovely jubbly. It's been wonderful. I'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye.